What can I do for you? Um, can I just have a small iced coffee? A small iced coffee? Then a medium iced mocha coffee. Yeah, you got it. And then can I have a medium iced mocha coffee? I can pay for it, okay? Are you for real? Yeah. Oh my god, thank you. No problem. <laughs> thank you so much. Alrighty. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you again, Kathy. Today is the day where we, you know, life gets boring and I'm just gonna be up front with it. So today I hit Lucas's line and I was like, should we role play? <laughs> not like not like in a sexual way. When you I mean, immediately said that, it just goes to grossness. <laughs> I mean, should we just act like we're little people for a day? And it's 10 o'clock in the morning right now and we are fully being Midwest, straight Midwest moms. And we started the day off with Scooters, which um, is a Midwest coffee place, I think. I think it's only in the Midwest. Oh I'm not yeah, sure. represent. If you know, you know. Disclaimer. This video is just for entertainment purposes. We already did this with annoying dads, so I was like, why not do it with annoying moms? Oh yeah, we already lived a day as like <laughs> sexist dads. So we're not living a day as homophobic It's so funny moms. because we're doing a disclaimer, and then in the disclaimer we're saying, every mom in the Midwest is homophobic. And every dad <laughs> in the Midwest is sexist. <laughs> Midwest moms rock. My world. Aww. I planned this day with... Wait, you already, what do you already, you already said the name. What is it? Oh, you have to go back in the clip. Oh, shit. I've been planning this day with Bucky for a very long time. We both took our kids to daycare. Oh wait, actually, some of your kids are in school. I, I just know. have a bunch of youngins. I'm a high schooler. He's a riot. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna drive like 30 minutes to this little chundy area close by us. I'm happily married. We actually just had a third re-vowel. What do they call that shit? Vowel renewal. Vowel renewal. We aren't having that because we got through our time. We're just having it because we love getting married. And um, we have a two-year-old and a three-year-old. And um, I love my life. Now this is your little about section. I'm Becky. Um, I'm about 18 years older than Kathy over here, but we still bond as moms. Um, she moved in next door to me, what was it, about five years ago? Your marriage was a mess. And you always come over to my house crying about your husband and how he was just a complete dimwit. But now I guess you guys are happy, so I'm happy for you. Um, you guys are talking about your family. Like, oh, like, my family the whole time. My family. Um, we're good. Yeah, I've been with my high school sweetheart forever. We have a high schooler, like I said, a daughter in middle school who's in the bitchy stage. She just wants nothing to do with us. Sex is bad. Unless you're bringing a kid into the world and we're done with that, me and my husband. <laughs> just kidding, my hubby still makes it clap. <laughs> <laughs> my hubby makes it clap louder though. <laughs> You are disgusting. That is so gross. Oh my God. She told me what she is doing in there. Ugh. I do not do that. I can tell you that much right now. I'm gonna go on the record. I do not poop. Never have, don't plan to. It's very unladylike. And it's disgusting. But Kathy, you know Kathy, she does what she wants. Whoo! It's disgusting. Do you feel better? You are disgusting. No, I have the most embarrassing story. What, that you shit? Because that already I, is embarrassing. I hope my husband doesn't watch this. John, if you're watching, click off. Oh, if Peter, I, I don't let Peter go on the internet. I He's not going to see this. accidentally went into the men's restroom. 
and honey. The thing about it is, I was taking a poop. A guy came in, he sat in the toilet, and all I heard was, <laughs> it was so disgusting. <laughs> when I poop, it's clean and luxurious. Little jewel drops. But with him, you could just tell it was hairy, poopy. Ew, I can't. Smothery. Sweetie, I wanna eat my sushi. I don't wanna hear about this. I don't do it, I don't partake in it, I don't condone it. Um, me and Peter, we went to Orlando. Uh, the kids, the hotel we were staying at, they, they had a babysitter for the kids. We went out to a little sushi joint. And, you know, it was funky. It was funkadelic. But, I don't know, are you sure you want to try it? I haven't ever had sushi, but my husband John has. On a business trip that he went on for five months last year, and he said it was good. Okay. I am excited. I'm a little bit nervous. Getting a little bit of butterflies in my stomach thinking about the sushi. But, you know, you gotta try things. You already tried it. I tried it. That was 20 years ago in Orlando. Okay. It's probably changed since then. Back then I tried things. I I would try different foods and I don't know. But now you and your husband only do missionary and I know it. I can just see in your eyes. I am wearing black Vans, skinny jeans, a pink sweater, and this t-shirt that says, don't need Google. My husband is, my husband knows everything. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Yeah. Kathy, you are a hoot. Um, I got on a cute pink sweater, a little collar coming out. Um. Some good old jeans, purple vans that my daughter gave me. She said they uh, were cool for all ages, so I'm wearing it. And yeah, let's eat some different types of food. You look like a hole. <laughs> Kathy. Now, Kathy, do we have to wear masks? Um, there's a mandate here, so I don't really want to get in trouble. Kathy. I just don't want to be embarrassed. I just fit in. Right okay, now. all right. But for all my friends watching, I'm only doing this because of Kathy. We walked into the sushi joint. The waiter came to our table and asked what we wanted to drink. And Lucas, no, um, Bucky said a Diet Coke. And then I just started laughing because our hair looked so ridiculous. So then I just said same, even though I actually wanted a waddle. Foolish me. We both got the lunch special. Three rolls because we're growing women. <laughs> A little joke. Um, we actually aren't growing anymore. So the lunch special came with miso soup. However, I wanted hot and sour soup. So I sat the waiter down and said, hey, can I substitute the miso soup for some hot and sour soup, please? And I was ready to fight, but he actually just said, sure. Didn't even charge us more. I took the first sip of this miso soup and it was boring, but it was still so good. <laughs> Sean Kingston, fire boning on the dance floor, that was me. <laughs> and then our sushi platter came. Bucky actually helped me order since this was my first time getting sushi. I got a spicy tuna, a spicy salmon, and a salmon jalapeno roll. I love spicy stuff, as you can tell. I got spicy tuna. Crunchy roll, because that's when there would be like Cheetos on it or something. Unfortunately, there wasn't, but it was still good. And a shrimp tempura. Not to brag, but this is my first time and I know how to use chopsticks. Me and Kathy put this on the books about three weeks ago. What was it around Christmas, actually? Maybe about a month ago. We put this on the books to get sushi together. So I've been watching YouTube videos how to do um, chopstick holding. I had it down and I got to show it off. Yeah, yeah, we finished our sushi. Yeah, yeah, we finished our sushi. Yeah, yeah, we finished our sushi. Yeah, yeah, when I have sex with my husband, I finish. This sushi was maybe better than Orlando. It was very good. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep-o. Yep-er. Boo-boo. <laughs> What's going on? We're walking through a park right now because, as the ladies always say, remember to get your 10,000 steps in for day. <laughs> yeah, my husband.
just been make sure I'm like get my steps and on my Fitbit before I go to bed. There's been a few nights where he makes me do this in place to get my steps. Oh look at this beauty. Just look at this. <laughs> You know what? I see some sexy single man. Well, at least I think they're single. So I think I'm gonna take off this shirt because it signifies I have a husband. I didn't wear my wedding ring today on purpose and I think I might try to find a new husband. Oh, I'm on board with this, Kathy. I always have been telling you that husband of yours is a piece of trash. Don't say mean stuff like that. He's still a good guy. You're literally on the hunt for a man right now. He's a jackass, Daryl is a jack whip and i've been saying that for a while okay i'll let you say that all i'm doing i'm just trying to find a new man it's still gonna be monogamous and sex only until we're married your little pansy computer programmer husband ain't gonna do shit is he even gonna protect you if someone breaks in yeah he he, he knows how to do shit my husband's like popeye you get a guy like nine i'm the strong one in their relationship yeah. <laughs> Who makes these signs? That's funny. Hi. I'm a bridge. I'm saying that my bridge is a person. Because obviously bridges out people. These crack me up. You can probably already tell, but it was a very windy day when Kathy and Bucky decided to film this video. But basically, while they were walking on the bridge, they were gossiping about Teresa's daughter. Her name is Brittany, and she actually does OnlyFans. And both of these gals thought it was disgusting. Is the camera on? Yeah, Kathy, what did you want to tell me? Well, I'm pissed because our favorite store is Christopher and Banks. We drove 30 minutes to this little cool part of town to go to Christopher and Banks. To of get some course, little... and we're going after this. I want to look like this lady, you know? Um, yeah. I touched Christopher and Banks in our area, and all of them are temporarily closed. Kathy, this is a prank. Okay, haha. Ha. It's a prank, Temporarily right? Temporarily closed. Temporarily closed. Are you kidding? Nope. So we in you're telling me in 2022, we also can't go to Christopher and Banks. I it seems like the world's ending. What else is gonna happen? Um, what else can't I do? You know, I'm gonna be sending some emails later today to the corporate offices, and I'm gonna tell them what's up. Oh, what? Did it go out of business because they don't sell crop tops? Did it go out of business because they don't sell short shorts? You know God, what? are you, I what? can't. Is this society trying to earn modesty? Are we not gonna talk about how you didn't find any men? <laughs> Sorry, I won't bring it up. Oh yeah, we were, it's, it's. Literally none of them wanted to talk to you. Yeah, we were there for a few hours actually, and um. I haven't been on the prowl since I was in high school, but. Good thing Peter is the perfect man for me. The perfect man for me. But Daryl is a jack whip. You keep forgetting his name. It's John. But I've been calling him Daryl this whole time. No, it's John. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Man alert. <gasps> Go out and get him. Uh, Go out. Are you nervous? Big dick daddy. <laughs> oh, I forgot to keep you guys updated. We are at the mall right now because, you know, there's a bunch of stuff to do here. Especially for ladies like us. Yeah, I'm gonna spend Peter's money. Everyone watching, make your own money. No shade to Cindy, though. No, to Bucky, though. Why do you keep effing forgetting my name? My name's Becky. 
I'm on too many antidepressants to be quite honest. One of my favorite things to do at the mall is go to the fanciest store and check out their bathroom. So this is us just chilling by the fanciest bathroom in this mall. Even if people are shitting in this bathroom, it still smelled like daisies and roses to me. 10 out of 10. Ah, <laughs> uh, Bed Bath & Beyond. This is my favorite store. Let's see what they have today. Oh my God, we're in Bed Bath & Beyond. Oh my God. The best store ever! I sprayed so much stuff all over my body here. I honestly have such a headache from all the fragrance I sprayed all over my skin. Okay, uh, uh if my new husband pleased me like this, I'd be one happy girl. Oh, one happy lady. <laughs> <laughs> About an hour or so of being in the mall, I got a little bit delusional and I started picking out my new wedding ring for my new imaginary husband that I'm gonna have in like a year. I wanna get married within the next six months. Why are you even still with whatever his name is? Like, why don't you just dump him? This whole day has been all about, let's find you a new man. But you keep saying, I love him and all this stuff. You obviously don't. I don't need a man. Well, this whole day has been centered around you trying to find one. And I've just been trying to have a fun girls day. Well, this whole time, I've been referring to a man from the galaxy that hasn't been on Earth yet. He's in my dreams. I had a vibration in my body that if I went on this glass elevator, I would meet the new love of my life. So I went on it twice. And the results are I didn't find anyone. But that's fine. I don't like Yankee Candle. F them. Just joking. Um, I mean, don't F them. If they're down to be a fucked, I mean, you can, but I just wouldn't. All right, Becky, I'm going to go pee for a little bit. All right, see you in, yeah, maybe meet us in like 10. Yeah, because I'm going to look around for a bit. Yeah, I'm just going pee, though. But yeah, just meet me in like maybe 20 even. But yeah, meet you soon. Bucky doesn't know this, but I was waiting outside the little poopo because I knew she was doing a big load. A big one. A double wingle, actually. I was just waiting, sitting there. A couple guys passed by, a couple women passed by. Bucky looks pretty embarrassed when she walks out. This is the actual footage. Okay, I don't know what was you were trying to do here. I was literally peeing. I peed and then I washed my hands. Sorry that took 25 minutes. I wanted to wash my hands thoroughly and then I had to call Peter. I was writing back to some business emails for my little MLM. Like, I, I was busy. You're trying to frame it as if I was doing something wrong? I literally peed. You smell like poop right now. <sighs> Whatever. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, I don't care. I know you want me to drop you off because your dumbass daughter has ballet. But I don't. We're going to Target, sis. We're going. I don't care. I love Target, but I need to get home. Let's just fight our cravings. I wrote a book that if you fight your cravings, it makes you um better person. But I want to look in the decor section. Well, we can't. Are you serious? Yeah. Wait, actually, should we go to Target? Yeah, I'm going back. I don't, wait. Uh, I just really, I want new skincare. They have like Avena. No, Kathy. What? You can't be spending money. You've been telling me crying at my house how things are, how, yeah. And you hate your husband. We can't go. Okay, let's stop talking about me. I'm drawing the line. We aren't going to Target. <laughs> <laughs> I just wish I could go. I just wish I could go. Home. Tis the end of the mom day, Midwest straight mom day, and it was fun. It had a ton. Bucky did annoy me at times, but other than that, it was fun. Bye. I had a splendid day being a mom today in the Midwest, and it started out as just a joke, a little uh, ha ha moment. Let's be a mom. But I ended up learning so much, and I used to straight up disrespect females and stuff like. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like get it, you know? Wait, you brought up a good point. I do yeah. respect females now. I know, that's the thing. 
Like, it might only last a day, but for this moment. And that means a lot. I know, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Give this real a thumbs up for that. <laughs>